This is my AI Nerf gun that auto aims to hit its target. It uses computer vision to track and line up its shot, and then it goes in for the kill. But before we get to the testing, let me show you how I built it. So a lot of Nerf guns is spring action based. So you do this to reset the spring and then you shoot it. But the downfall of this is you have to spring back every time that you reload or you try to shoot something. So I am thinking we're gonna up it and we're gonna use an electrical Nerf gun. Two reasons, but well, really only one reason, I guess just because I wanna over engineer it. But <laughs> the second reason is I want it to be automatic. This, you can't make that automatic, but if we use a solenoid and a couple of flywheels, we could do that. So let's see. So I have this electric nerve gun that I broke. So I want to one, take it apart to see how the mechanism works and jack anything I can from it. So I don't have to make everything from scratch. All right, so after using a little bit of elbow grease, ah, we got it out. So this part, so this part right here is our flywheel and our, well, our flywheels and our flywheel cage. So the dart is basically fed through here. When these things are rotating, boom, it comes out crazy fast. There also is this control board in the back. I'm not really sure what it does, so I'm gonna mess around with it and see, cause there might already be an H bridge in here. So uh, I tried. <laughs> To use the control board that's on there, I could not figure it out at all, but that's fine. I'm just gonna design everything from scratch. The flywheels, the control board, or doing whatever the case may be. I'm just gonna figure it out myself. So let's start with that. Uh, so everything is set up and ready to go. So when I give this thing some power, the motor starts to go. So if I feed the dart through, it takes it. Sheesh. So obviously I'm not gonna like sit here and be loading darts by hand. So we need something to push the darts through and of course how to load it. So for that, we're gonna use a solenoid. So a solenoid is just like an electromagnet that we're energizing and disenergizing. So when it's energized, it pushes through. And then when it's not energized, this spring pushes it back. So now, if we have a way to push it out, all we need to find is a way to actually load up the magazine so the only thing I really had to make for this was a 3D printed part that could load this magazine. So we load it up through here and it's here. If we need to unload it, we just pull it out. So with it being set up like this, all we have to do is set up the solenoid to push through flywheels. That's gonna be attached right here and we're in business. All right, so the bones are set and ready. Everything is set up. I really want to see how accurate it is just shooting it at a whiteboard. So I drew a little hole, well, I drew a circle on the whiteboard. We're gonna test it out and see how accurate it shoots. So at first it was looking good, but I kept on running into jamming and it's just like a millimeter or so off, which is kind of annoying. So as you can see, the first test didn't go so well as far as spread. And that is mainly because the darts kept on getting stuck. So I really wasn't able to take time out to aim. So we're gonna reprint some things just to make the dart more reliable. We'll just make the shooter mechanism more reliable. So we're gonna do that, try again, go back to the drawing board. So I ran test after test after test. And I kind of saw myself getting into a rabbit hole and I was like, hey, this is just gonna have to do for now. I can work on finalizing the accuracy after the final build is done. All right, so I decided to make it track the color green. So as you see, when we hold up all markers, it only sees the green one. Cover it, don't see nothing. And it's kind of insane how accurate it is. So there's three main things that our software does. First thing, it only detects one object at a time and it only detects the largest object at a time. Second, anything less than 100 pixels, it's not even gonna bother trying to track it. Third thing, it says the difference between the center of the green object and the center of the camera frame to the nerve gun, so the nerve gun knows exactly how to aim. And the last thing, I don't want to only track green, so I have it set so I can really track any color I want, green, blue, orange, doesn't matter. 
So now it can shoot and it can also track. So the only thing left is to actually move it around. So let's start working on that. So for movement, I use a stepper motor in combination for planetary gearbox with a six to one gear ratio. I 3D printed basically everything. I also use bearings here and there just to reduce friction. If you want an in-depth guide on the planetary gearbox, how I made it, all that stuff, I have a full in-depth video just on that. So make sure you check it out. Okay, so rotation is good and ready to go. Quick test. So now I'm just gonna attach the tilt stepper motor onto the rotation one. And we're gonna test both of them out with the camera and see how that goes. So I have the code set to where if it's between five and negative five, it doesn't move, that's like the stable part. But if I go left and keep it stable, it goes left, go back to the center, go right. And now up. And we're in pretty good business, baby. So now all that's left is to just make it look a little pretty and then attach the turret onto the base. And the real testing is about to begin. No, no, what did you see? What did you see? Did you see that was green? Nothing is green, bro. So we have it on the slowest setting right now because I don't need it moving too fast. It's going the opposite way. I'm going the wrong way. Okay, so when I was going left, it was going right. When I was going up, it was going down. So I changed so both the coordinate values are coming to the Arduino opposite of what that actually is. So, fingers crossed. Yo, no, what did you see? What did you see? What did you see? That was great. Yo! <laughs> the plant! The plant! The plant! The plant! It's all the plant! That's a good boy. That's a good boy. Okay. Okay. Okay, it's working. Okay, it's working. Let me not mess him up. He's taking his first steps. He took his first steps. Let's see what we could do. Is this plan that you want? Is this the plan that you see? No, no, come on. Look at me. <laughs> Are you kidding me? So I noticed the acceleration upward is kind of a problem. It takes a while. Okay, that was 10%. Let's run it at 50%. Whoa, whoa! Ah, the jitter, the jitter, the acceleration needs to drop. Interesting. So after a lot of testing and tuning, this is eventually where we got it at. And it also can shoot while it's tracking, which I think is like super cool. So this is just gonna be a single shot accuracy test. Let's see where we at. Okay, so as far as the spread, it's pretty good. The spread is all about in the same area with just a little bit too much to the right. So we're gonna make an adjustment in the cold to be about mm, two, three degrees off to the, to the other direction. And then we're gonna run it again. Hit it. All right, three, two, one, test. <laughs> Yo! <laughs> it's not hitting it! Yo! It didn't miss yet! Test one complete. This is kind of 100% accuracy. No misses. No misses. All hits, no misses. That's for the Mary folks. We also ran some other tests, like this one. We did it just to see how well the gun was at tracking the balloon while it's moving. But honestly, I wasn't satisfied with just hitting the balloon. I wanted it popping. So we designed our own dart nerf tips, whatever you want to call it. We put thumbtacks and nerf darts 
But before we get to the footage, a quick message. We are trained professionals. Do not try this at home. At all. Don't ever try this at home. It's but not actually safe. Like we we're actually like, we're actually professional engineers. It may not look like it, but we're actually uh professional engineers, so safety first. Imagine like <laughs> I said safety first. And then I look down the barrel with the we can take it. Come on. Woo! <laughs> That's crazy. Okay. Okay, yo. Woo! Shit. <laughs> Third shot. Oh. Damn, we ran out of round. Ah! Let's go. Next one. Ooh, a little too high. Ooh, a little too high. Oh, shit. Dag, we're too yeah, high. Yeah. Um, as you can see, though, we got some stuck in the wall. Dag, that's actually insane. That's that is insane. That's why this is dangerous. Why is it shooting too high now? Now nah, it's really in there too, bro. It's really in there. Let's run it again. Go. Let's go. Ooh, almost. Hit again, I'm so close. Let's go! Oh my gosh! Oh! <laughs> so after doing some additional testing, we realized that the problem was not the Nerf gun at all. It was really the darts. We had one set of darts with the suction cut tips, which was perfect, it was fine, and I designed and programmed everything around that. So when we changed the dart to the thumbtack design, it kind of just threw everything off and the darts was not flying accurate anymore. So I went back to the drawing board, redesigned the dart, just to bring you guys this single clip. All right, here we go, baby. Come on. Here we freaking go. It's about to be game time. Let's go. We did it. Yo. The fact that it locked on to me after is crazy. It's not programmed. I'm black. I'm not orange. Peace. <laughs>